Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm sitting down with guests that represent the West Georgia Career Connect and Job Expo. I have Lorraine Allen and also Diana Goldwire. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to sit down with all this beauty on my set here this morning <laughs> and talking about something that's just really exciting that's happening in our community. But before we jump into that, I want to talk a little bit with each one of you ladies. And Diana, you've been on the show before you're with LaGrange College, your the career development there. Talk a little bit about what is Career Connect, if you don't mind. Yep, Career Connect came together with the Department of Labor, local colleges, and local employers, and it's an organization to help job seekers become job search ready. So we help out with mock interviewing, interviewing, mock interviewing, interviewing skills, resume writing, applications assistance, and also as a, a chance for our job seekers to talk one on one with employers to find out what they're really looking for, to take away the computer out of the situation and bring back the networking, the face to face contact with people. Well, very good. You know, every time, you know, I think about sometimes when I want to fill out an application or have my kids go and fill out, I say it's always good to go and pick up an application, find out who the manager is or, you know, the person is doing the hiring because that way they get to see a face with an application. Mm -hmm. Gives right. them a better feel for Absolutely. who the individual is. That's right. And, and Lorraine, this is your first time being on the show with us, so we're it very is. happy to have you, well, thank you. Uh, here. And I know that you are in the HR profession. Yes. Tell us a little bit about why you're involved with Career Connect. It's a passion for me to, to help people. And this gives me an opportunity to help job seekers to, to shore up their, their job seeking skills. Uh, Diana talked about we help with resumes and, and such as that. So I get a chance to talk to them, get them to ask me questions and answer questions for them. I can also just kind of give them some personal uh, opinions uh, on dressing, uh, how to dress it when you look for jobs because a lot of people don't understand that that first impression goes a long way. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's so important that we realize that I, I was working with a young man uh, helping him to try to seek employment and then he was going to go in and have one of these, what they call those do-rags on his head. Do no. like, uh, <laughs> no. you think you're really going to go in with that on? No, you don't like, do that. First impression, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Absolutely That's right. True. So Career Connect, and, and I think this is the second year that is being held at New Community Church. Talk That's a little correct. bit about that for us, Diana. Yes, we're going to hold it again at New Community Church. New Community has been wonderful to host our Career Connect meetings every month. We meet on the fourth Thursday of every month okay. um, at 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. But we're holding it again there. Last year we had set over 750 job seekers that came to this event. So definitely parking is very, very important and location and being right off the highway, it's a great location to come for this job fair. Absolutely. 700 and 750 in attendance. Right. That's right. Job seekers were job there. Seekers. We had over 40 employers that came okay. last year. This year we already have 50 registered. And if employer still wants to register, they still can. They just contact me at LaGrange College, okay. Diana Goldwire, or Cliff Meeks at the Department of Labor. Okay. Very good. So there's some partnering going on. I'm going to talk about Definitely. that in just a moment. And we also need volunteers. And yes, volunteers. volunteers. We're looking for volunteers okay. too. Okay. Well, great. Mm -hmm. We're going to give out information where they can contact to, make, uh, to become volunteers. Let me ask you, Lorraine, you, you were talking about giving personal tips and things of that nature when a person is doing their resume. What are some of the things that you see or areas of improvement that you notice when you look at an application? At an application, I'm looking that it's complete. If there's a question on there, it needs to be answered, and it needs to be answered thoroughly. If I ask for references, I want references with the address and the phone number. So it's just really the completeness of the application is, okay. is what you look for. A lot of applications that are not, not complete get cold. We don't even get to see them because you, the first cut is to make sure they're complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you said they get cold or cut. Cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coded. And you know, and, and people have to understand. I mean, when you say complete, if it doesn't apply, you just want to see an NA or something exactly. to that effect. Exactly. You okay. don't want to make it look like you just didn't answer the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's so important. It's just those little simple, basic things that help people to kind of get ahead of the next application. Mm -hmm. You know, that's in that pile. Absolutely. Uh, let me ask you, how did Career Connect get started, Diana. Talk a little bit about that's that. That's a great question. It was the Employers Committee. Mm -hmm. It was West Georgia SHRM. That's all the HR managers in the region and in the area, as well as local colleges. All were seeing an issue with job seekers um, with the soft skills. Mm -hmm. We're seeing this disconnect, and so we had to kind of devise a way to get people to understand what employers were looking for. And so we found that Peachtree City was doing this. Noonan was doing this too. Working with the local college um, and also the churches okay. to put together a, a group that does this. So we came together as Career Connect. And we've been together now for about a um, little over three years. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, we've seen over a thousand uh, job seekers we've assisted, which is great. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. Now, let me ask you, do you I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that you all track individuals like the thousand that you all have assisted. Mm -hmm. 
that get actually placed. Can you say out of that thousand, you know how many have actually been placed? We're actually looking to get that statistic, but we know from just from anecdotal conversations, a lot of people have been led to other jobs. We have seen um, applicants that didn't even know about job openings find out about them because they were at Career Connect and heard from another job seeker, hey, this, this place is hiring. So a lot of conversations are going on mm -hmm. at this meetings, which is uh, very helpful. It's not just meeting with the employers, but also meeting with other job seekers that may have a lead that you never considered before. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It goes back to that face-to-face -face contact Absolutely. and communication, you know, because, you know, and let me ask the service area, I'm going to assume is here LaGrange, Troop mm -hmm. County, do we reach outside of the service areas of Troop County? That's a good question. We do the West Georgia region, Alabama as well. Some of the companies that are coming are from the Alabama area. Okay, yeah. well, very good. Can we mention some of the companies that will be there at the job fair? Yes, we're, we're so excited. <laughs> um, we have over 50 that are registered, yeah. and Troop County Schools, for example, registered yesterday. Okay. Uh, we have Waffle House, we have Pruitt Health in Greenville, uh, Procter & Gamble, Duracell. We also have wonderful sponsors. Should I go ahead? And yeah, yeah. Okay, we, want sponsors. Talk about, yeah. Um, we want to say thank you to our sponsors, and we're still looking for sponsors too. Lagrange College, West Georgia Sherm, Point University, West Georgia Technical College, Intercall, Express Employment Personnel, Troop County Works, Lagrange Employer Committee, Zaxby's, and Chick Fil A. Oh my. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all those your sponsors, they have over 50 employees, right. pl employers there that will be there as well, right? Exactly. We're still taking employers. We, um, we still have people calling us, and we will we'll get you on the list. Yeah, very good. <laughs> and Lorraine, you mentioned a moment ago about uh, volunteerism. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're an HR profession, and you're also a part of the Career Connect. Right. Talk about the importance of volunteering in something like this with other employers in our area. Absolutely. Like Diana said, we had more than 850 show up last year, uh -huh. expecting probably a bigger outcome this year. And we have to have people work the booths, making sure that everybody know where to go. And okay. so any block of time that anybody can give would be appreciated. Hour at a time, 30 minutes, we don't mm -hmm. care. Just call Diana and, and she'll give you the information. And we'll just love to have you. Okay. Well, great. Now, we've talked about it. we got to tell people when is it going to be. We talked That's about right. where it's going to be held, but let's talk about when it's going to be held and the times. So talk about that, great. Diane. It is September 25th. It's going to okay. be at New Community Church, which is located on 1200 da South Davis Road in LaGrange. It's going to be held from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock p.m. And as I always tell to all job seekers, please do not show up at 1.45 or 2 o'clock p.m. Right. because you will not have enough time to interact with the employers. Okay. Very Definitely. good. Definitely. So important. Lorraine, you also mentioned something that was very important a moment ago. We talked a little bit about first impression. Mm -hmm. Someone coming to this job fair, what should they or how should they dress? Dress like you're looking for a job, really. Dress like you're really trying to make a good first impression. Be professional. Business casual is always appropriate. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to overdress. But definitely, as your do-rag example, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. But you do want to dress like you're seeking a job. Have a resume as well. Um, because it is important for people to understand what's, what's your career been like so that they can really place you where you're better fitted to be. So you're going to have a lot of employers that's going to be hiring, and it's best to just come prepared. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about hiring. Is it maybe even a possibility that some may be hired or given an opportunity to come in for a second interview at that time? I, you know, yeah, you know. I, I believe uh, that would be the case. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly if it was me that was doing a booth, I would definitely write down the high potential candidates so that I could reach back out to them. So definitely okay. that is an opportunity. Well, very good. And we'll have areas also for employers that they really hit it off with a candidate can go and interview with them okay. on site, which is really good as well. Absolutely. You know, because, you know, again, we're talking about first impression makes an everlasting impression. Yeah, absolutely. And if someone really is looking to fill a position and they are, you know, inspired by someone by their appearance and their interview techniques mm -hmm. and things of that nature, I'm sure they want to seize that opportunity before absolutely. someone yeah. else snatches him or That's her right. up. Absolutely. <laughs> then we're talking about this is going to be Saturday, 25th at oh, 10 a.m. It's a Thursday. Yes. I'm sorry, oh, okay, <laughs> September 25th. Yes. I should just say September 25th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at New Community Church. Uh, sponsors. Now, if someone was looking to volunteer or sponsor Diana, how can they, uh, who can they, or who do they need to contact to do that? Great question. They can either contact Cliff Meeks. He works at the Department of Labor. Okay. And the, if they call the Department of Labor, and they can reach him there, or just call LaGrange College and ask for Diana Goldwire. Okay. And we'll get you set up for volunteering or for being a sponsor. We're looking for food donations because we had to feed all of our volunteers and our employers okay. and, uh, and all of our job seekers too with water okay. as well. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. So again, someone, anyone is looking to sponsor, get in touch with either one of the Cliff Meeks or you, Diana, mm -hmm. there at the college. Now, let me ask you, how important is the partnership? Because this is your third year now. Mm -hmm. How important is that for you? It is. I think it's all about networking. Mm -hmm. I find out, I know for my job, I find out so much about what our employers are looking for in candidates. So that's been very helpful for me working with our college students. Okay. And I know that the same thing goes for our other colleges that are involved as well. You get to network with employers, find out what they're going through, so we can better communicate that with our job seekers. Okay. Well, very good. Lorraine, if you had a closing comment to tell the job seekers that were coming to this expo, you being in the HR profession, what would that, other than the dressing for success, right. what other tips would you give them to help them be prepared? Mainly, again, I think dressing is, is going to be, that's first impression, okay. so that's very important. Mm -hmm. But bring your resume, okay. come with a good attitude, come willing to, to look around and search for the different, at the different employer tables because it may be something that you don't know about that's available. So don't come just restricted to, a, well, I'm looking for one or two things. Just look around and see what you can find out because it, it'd be way more than you think. And, and I think that they would, they would benefit from that opportunity. Okay. That's right. We'll think it outside it. the box absolutely. because everybody's hiring for different positions. That's right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, now I, I think back to the days when, you know, I got into the workforce and you wanted to know a little bit about the companies as well. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with 50 employees there, employers there, it may be a little difficult, but, yes. you know, would it help to just have a little bit of knowledge about some of the uh, companies that are there? Definitely. We have Kia coming, Haniwa, and mm -hmm. if you know what they manufacture, mm -hmm. that's very helpful. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go up to the table and say, what do you do there? Right. You want to know that information beforehand. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Well, ladies, I know that the, the job seekers will come out. We thank, thank, we're thankful that the employers are going to be out there, mm -hmm. and we just know that, you know, there's going to be a great day. That's, again, September the 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the New Community Church. Exactly. Lorraine, Diana, thank you both ladies for coming on and sharing this information today. Thanks thank for you. having us. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're back from City Week in just a moment. Welcome back City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Now I am sitting down with the chairman of the Attic Cell that's sponsored by the Junior Service League, Laura Bowman. Laura, welcome to the show. Hey, how are you? I am doing great. Now, Laura, I gotta, I gotta reminisce just for a moment, if you don't mind. I remember back at Berta Weathersby School, fifth grade. It was a long time that ago. That was a long time ago, <laughs> right? There was a young lady by the name of Lauren Majors, if I'm not cor incorrect. And that was you, correct? That was me. That was that you. Was you know what? That's ago. been some years ago, and I I still remember my all my I call them still still call everybody my students, and I just you know I'm amazed at how all of you have grown up, and you're very instrumental in the community and just giving back, and I just want to say thank you all for the oh, hard work and dedication. That. Well, Lauren, you're here today to talk a little bit about uh, the Junior Service League, but tell us a little bit about Lauren Bowman, if you don't mind. Well, right now um, I'm chairing the Attic Cell for Junior Service League this year, which is our big rummage cell. Okay. Um, and this is our cell that we raise our operating budget for the league for the year. Okay. And um, we give back to the community through many grants, uh, the money that we raise from this cell. So it's very instrumental in um, helping our community. Absolutely. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. And I get to remember over the years uh, seeing the crowds that come out to the Junior Service League at Excel. And it's just, I, I was, just, you know, before we came on, I was talking about when it was held at the Parks and Recreation Building. It was like standing room only out there. People came out. So there's evidently there's some really good stuff that's happening at these attic sales. We have a ton of stuff. We have furniture, we have toys, children's clothes, holiday items, miscellaneous. Okay. We have all kinds of things to sell, boutique items. Um, so you'll, there are a lot of great finds up there. We've been pricing and sorting for months now. <laughs> okay. Lots of good deals. And as the chairman, I'm sure you perhaps have seen and perhaps priced a little bit of everything, right? I have. It's, okay. it's been interesting. I know we found some good things up there. I'm well, really excited about it. Well, very good. Now, at, at the attic sale, go ahead and tell everybody when it's going to take place, if you don't mind. 
Attic sale is Saturday, October 4th. We will do a preview sale on Friday night, October 3rd from 6 to 7.30. Okay. And that is $5 admission and all items are priced in a half. So if you want to be an early bird and come check out everything before everyone else, that's Friday night. Okay. On Saturday morning, the sale starts at 8 o'clock, and that's early admission for $5. And then the regular sale will start at 8.30 for a dollar admission. Okay, well, very good. Now, and, and, and it's going to be held, you said, it's Saturday, October the 4th. Go ahead, and what's the location of that? Of it's that? the old Westbrook Tire Building at 308 Main Street. Okay, very downtown. Good. 308 Main Street. So we definitely want people to come out because of the fact that, you know, you say you guys operating budget is derived from these sales completely completely and you also mentioned Lauren that you guys give out mini grants talk a little bit about that for us if you don't mind we do we solicit uh, mini grants from different organizations in the community and any organization nonprofit is um, able to apply for those mini grants you can go to our website mm -hmm. jsloflagrange.com and get paperwork to fill out um, to apply for a mini grant and we've helped out all kinds of programs throughout LaGrange. Okay. All right. Well, very good. You know, it's so, you know, so fitting that you say that the funds come here, they stay here in LaGrange. So just recycling of, of, of funds here to help people in need. Now, I, I think you were mentioning uh, Team Mays, I think, has been a recipient of, uh, of one of the grants. Talk about that for us. Um, Team Mays is a great program that mm -hmm. um, helps teenagers throughout the community learn um, socially the different things that you can get involved in, the decisions that you make as a teenager, and um, how things as a teenager can impact the rest of your life. Absolutely. It's a great learning tool for teenagers, and we've been really happy to help out with that. We've also helped out with Art Discovery, um, the Sweet Land of Liberty Parade, Camp Dogwood. Just Those are just a few of the many things that we've helped out with throughout okay. the community. Right. But um, we're looking forward to receiving new mini grants this year to give out. and. Um, like I said, anyone that wants to apply, jsloflagrange.com. Okay, well, very good. And, we, and, and, you know, great programs, not to mention or leave out any. You talked about the Certified Literacy Program, which is another wonderful program here in our community. But anyone interested, go to the JSL website to get more information about that. Let's talk a little bit about uh, items that you all can accept for the Attic Sale mm -hmm. Learn. Uh, you was talking about there's a number of things there. As donations are coming in, are there certain things that you all cannot accept? We accept most anything. The things we cannot accept for pretty obvious reasons, guns, knives, we can't accept liquids. Um, we also are not taking adult clothing. We do accept coats, okay. um, but not adult clothing. We do have children's clothing, however. Okay. Well, very good. Very good. Now, now if there's someone that had items you know, that they want to donate. And I know that you all perhaps have been collecting throughout the year uh, to make sure that you have a, a variety of things there. If someone has some items that they want to donate, now excluding those that you just mentioned, how can they get those to you all? We will come to your house or to your place of business and do a pickup. Um, you can call 706-594-6640. To schedule a pickup from a Junior Service League member, we can bring a truck. We can help you pack it all up and take it up to Westbrook. Okay. And well. we are very happy to do that. We accept all kinds of donations, and we appreciate the support that we've received from the community by way of donations. Okay. Well, very good. Sounds exciting. So they can pick up and call the number there for uh, items to be picked up and, and taken down to the, the location. Now, let me ask you, sponsors. Now, every year I know that you all have sponsors to help uh, make this possible. Talk a little bit about your sponsorship if you don't mind. We have different organizations and businesses throughout the community who donate items to sell. Mm -hmm. Occasionally we get a business who they may not have items to donate but they may give us um, a monetary sponsorship okay. and we are always more than happy to accept those as well. <laughs> Absolute cash is king, right? Cash is great. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So again, if they want to make a donation, they just give you a call or or who, do, who can they contact in reference to that? Um, they can go on to the Junior Service League website okay. and email into info, the info website. Okay, the info website. Okay, mm -hmm. very the info good. info email. Okay, well, very good. Um, items, uh, price range. Kind of give us a, 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 a price range of some of the things that you perhaps have marked thus far. You will see things from 50 cents all the way to furniture items up to $200, $300. I mean, it just depends. Okay. We, I, I've, I've seen a refrigerator up there, washer and dryer. We've got tons of couches. 
Um, we've got lots of baby clothes and toys, holiday items, sporting okay. goods, picture frames. I mean, it's just a vast variety of things. Okay. So if people want to get that, uh, get the early bird, they need to come on that Friday night. Oh, then. there are some great <laughs> deals to oh snag. Oh my goodness. Okay. And, and we're talking about the preview. Now, I understand that I mean, at some point in the sale that you guys are going to kind of have a, a little perk where you can, all you can grab for like five bucks. Is that correct? Right. So. Throughout the morning, uh, we will have the regular price sell, and as things kind of die down, uh, we clear everyone out and they come back in for a half price sell. Everything in the building will be half price. Um, towards the end of the sale, we have a bag sell, what we call a bag sell. Okay. Everything you can fit into a bag for $3. Oh my. And sometimes people come out with five or six bags and <laughs> they've just put all kinds of things in. So $3 a bag, it's a great deal. Uh -huh, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So bottom line is we want to, you guys want to move everything that you have left everything. over. You yeah. move, that's right. You don't want to pack it up and take it back, right? Right, exactly. Absolutely. Well, that's a great way to, to have things move from the shelves and into the homes and, and things of that nature. And again, it's for a very worthwhile cause because you said it, the funding goes back into the community to uh, in the form of mini grants and also to uh, fund the Junior Service League operating budget. Talk a little bit about some of the other things that Junior Service Leagues gets involved with, if you don't mind, Lauren Fools. Well, we have two major fundraisers a year mm -hmm. um, to give back to the community. The first is the attic sale in the fall, and then this will be our second year doing Picking in the Park, which is in the spring. Okay. And so that's a benefit concert. Uh, last year we had the Marshall Tucker Band out at Pine Road Park. Oh. This year, um, I won't announce the band quite yet, but okay. <laughs> we have a band, a, it's going to be really exciting in the spring, and um, that fundraiser will go to help the Boys and Girls Club. Oh my, well very good. You know, and again, there's so many great organizations and, you know, and programs in our community, and it just thrills my heart to know that Junior Service Leagues and all the other agencies give back to those companies like the Boys and Girls Club, the Team Mace, Certified Literacy, because I, I know that when we become a, a more literate community, we become more a uh, stronger community. So Lauren, I want to thank you for coming on. Again, tell them the date, the time, and those perk times that they can come in and get those items if you don't mind. Okay, Saturday, October 4th okay. at the Westbrook Tire Building. And that's at 8 a.m. for the early sale of $5 admission, 8.30 right. for the $1 admission. And then we have the preview sale Friday night, right. 6 to 7.30, and that's $5 admission with all items priced in half. That's for, the, that's for the early birds who want to snag the great deals. That's right. Uh, and you know what? I may have to come out there on that Friday night. Please just do. To, absolutely. Bring your friends. <laughs> bring my friends. That's yeah. right. I, I do need to come out there because, you know, the, the time that, uh, before, you know, I was kind of the late hour and it got there a little bit yeah. late, so you know, some of the things are really gone by that time. But there's still been a number of great things that I've seen there at the attic sale. So again, ladies and gentlemen, come on out. It's for a very worthwhile cause. Lauren's the chairman of the Junior Service League attic sale this year. It's going to be held on October the 4th at Westbrook Tire location in downtown LaGrange. Lauren, thank you very much thank for coming you. on the I show today. It. All mm -hmm. right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're back for more City Week in just a moment. Why United Way? Because United Way of West Georgia helps support 25 local organizations. Organizations that make life better for all of us. Yes, 25. There's no easier way to help so many of your neighbors through a single donation. When you give to United Way of West Georgia, you help a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining for City Week this week. My guests have been from LaGrange College. I had on Diana Goldwire and also Lorraine Allen, an HR profession here in our area, as they talked about the West Georgia Career Connect and Job Expo that will be taking place at New Community Church on September the 25th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. So by all means, job seekers come out. Who knows, you may just get hired. Ladies and gentlemen, also I had on the chairman of the Junior Service League Attic Sale, Lauren Bowman, as she talked about the upcoming Attic Sale that will be held on October the 4th at the Westbrook Tire in downtown LaGrange. So by all means, if you're looking for some great deals, come on out. I'm sure there will be something there that you can pick up at a very reasonable cost. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've enjoyed these interviews. And as always, I want to invite you back for more of City Week.